Show. All right, let's get those feet on the dance floor. It's the first day of the month in Dillydale, and that can only mean one thing. It's time to dance, dance, dance. Mr. Men and Little Misses really do love to boogie. Almost as much as some love to scare. In fact, the good people of Dillydale are always keen to learn a new dance. So it's no surprise that Miss Whoops's dance school is such a popular destination. Oh. Dillydale Dance School, please hold. Oh, pickles. <clears throat> oh, hi, Mr. Grumpy. What brings you here? Hello, Mr. Strong. I got this voucher in the post and I'm here for my free gift. Oh, no problem. Here you go. That's my free gift? Yes. So you look good in the dance lesson. Dance lesson? Yep, and lucky for you, you're just in time. Whoa! Hey, hey! Put me down! Put me down! Have fun! You don't know me very well, do you? Hi there, Mr. Grumpy. Hello, Mr. Tickle. Mr. Bounce. Are you ready to dance? More like ready to run. <laughs> Whoops! Oh. Sorry I'm late. Get ready because it's time to dance, dance, dance! Yay! <laughs> I love to dance! I suddenly regret this headband. Now, let's review what we learned last week. Hmm. You have got to be joking. Whoops! I've seen enough! Yet, Mr. Grumpy. Oh, yeah? Whee! Watch me. Oh, thank you, Mr. Grumpy. I could not have stopped without you. Oh, I do what I can. Now for today's dance. We're going to learn the tango. Mr. Bounce, you'll be my partner. Mr. Grumpy, you and Mr. Tickle can be partners. Why do we have to dance with partners? Because it takes two to tango. <laughs> Keep those tickling tendrils to yourself. Hmm. Come on, Mr. Grumpy, show your stuff. Of all the cockamamie ideas. <laughs> Remember, hmm. feel the beat. I'm feeling something, but it isn't the beat. Maybe you just need a tickle. No, don't. <laughs> no, no, don't. <laughs> That's it. Oh. I'm going home. Bang, 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 bang. bang. <laughs> Crooked cucumbers. Looks like that's all for today. Well done, everybody. That's it. I put up with all this nonsense and the lesson is over. Just like that. Yes. But you can keep the headband as our gift to you. <laughs> it's Shazam! That's good! We're the old host, Mr. Messi! How's it going? the show where each week we'll see a brand new music video and the star of that video will be right here in the studio so let's give it up for today's guest Miss Daredevil here let me move some stuff out of your way thanks for having me on your show Mr Messi thanks for coming Miss Daredevil wow those are some stylish boots 
Thanks. These are my new boogie boots. They make dancing more fun than ever, which I didn't even know was possible. I like these boogie boots so much, I've made a music video about them. I can't wait to see it. So here it is. Miss Daredevils, gotta get down in my boogie boots. When it's time to boogie, I zoom out through the floor. I shake my wiggle from side to side, then my rockets start to roar. These boots are made for dancing. These boots have got the moves. It's a wild dance like the dance in my pants, right up and in the groove. Oh, but this don't give my boogie boots. The machines we shake down to the beat. you hear the beat, your rockets will fire out on the floor, you feel the heat down in your feet. Get down with the boogie boots. Get down. The machine is shaking down to the face. Get down with your boogie boots. Oh yeah. And zoom up into outer space. Shazam, that's good. I give that video five stinky socks. Thanks, Mr. Messy. I'm glad you liked it. The only thing better than the song are these boogie boots. Oh dear, I think your boogie boots need some adjustments. Ow! Yeah, I need next week. The shizzam! That's good! all the different ways to dance, one stands out from all the rest. It's called ballet. And if that's not exciting enough, just wait until you see Miss Scary dance around the stage. I'm glad you could join me, Mr. Rood. It's nice to have someone with whom to share a little culture. Ask me if I care. <laughs> Mr. Rood, it is entirely inappropriate to burp. Not to mention drop litter while watching a ballet. I'll give you inappropriate. Don't you dare. Da. I refuse to be humiliated in public, so please, for once, try to show some manners. Thank goodness it's about to begin. Now, do be quiet. We don't want to disturb the performance. <laughs> Trust Miss Scary to find a way to get thunder into a ballet. <laughs> Thank you for calling Dilly Dale time. What do you think you are doing? At the town, the time will be 7.52. Babe! My watch stopped. I wanted to know the time. This is hardly the place to be using your mobile phone. At the town, the time will be 7.53. No, no, that's... Uh, uh. Let's try to enjoy this ballet, shall we? Oh, speak for yourself. I hate it already. To think that ballet, once a noble art performed for kings and queens, has been reduced to this. When are they going to speak? Shh! But that wasn't me! You... Never mind. Characters don't speak in ballet. The entire story is told through movement and dance. For instance, this dance is telling the story of a strange ballerina who lives in a rather frightening castle where a, a weary traveller has come looking for a place to stay, but apparently the spiky-haired little ballerina has decided to feed the weary traveler to her giant spider robot. Ballet is for nincompoops. I beg your pardon. Real ballet happens to be a very sophisticated style of dance. Get back to your own chair. I'm sorry, Mr. Rude. This dreadful ballet is frightening. I'll give you frightening. Hmm? Mr. Rude? Hey! I'm the one who...
who's supposed to do the scaring round here. Thanks a lot for ruining my belly, Mr. Fussy. No, but maybe the ballet isn't so bad after all, huh? Sadly, it's that time when the last dance has been danced and the last wiggle wiggled. Of course, some Mr. Men and Little Misses just can't help themselves when they hear a beat. For them, the chance to dance is one of life's greatest joys. 